well, what is guanciale? Guanciale is nothing more than cured pork jowl. So we're talking like part of the neck and part of the cheek of the hog. It is extremely well marbled and fatty. You know, it almost kind of looks like bacon. It's another name I've actually heard before is it's called face bacon. But really, you know, this is the essence of these Roman pasta dishes. They, they, they are using guanciale over pancetta for a reason. One, it's just a little bit more traditional. But two, you're not, you're not gonna get quite as much of that fatty unctuousness from the pancetta as you do from the, uh, from the guanciale. We've got what looks like some really great guanciale here. It's just cured in a little bit of salt and black pepper. I can tell this is a great product because it actually came with the, with the skin um, already intact. And so one of the things that we need to do before we, we dice our guanciale is, is to remove the skin, which is really quite simple. Um, you're just gonna, I have the, the skin down on the cutting board and um, I'm gonna find where my knife hits it, essentially. So, um, you know, on a, about a 45 degree angle, I'm just gonna kind of saw away at the skin to remove it from the meat. And there it is. Um, by the way, you can save this and throw it in like a pot of beans or something. Same as like a ham hock and it's, it's super, it'll add like that nice uh, uh, porky unctuousness to, um, you know, to a pot of beans or a stock or something like that. And then, oh, I got a little bit left here, no problem. But for the, for the purposes of, uh, of our pastas, we're then just gonna dice it up and think about the size of your thumbnail I mean, it's called face bacon for a reason, right? I mean, like, I mean, that looks like a nice, beautiful slab of bacon, but there's a lot more fat with the uh, with the guanciale than there is in pork belly. If you're gonna make any serious attempt at traditional Roman pastas, you gotta have that guanciale as opposed to the pancetta. So yeah, so now I've kind of separated this into three slabs that I can cut up, and I'm just gonna make you know, thumbnail or fingernail sized dice of my guanciale. You know, you can eat, by the way, you can eat this in its state right now when it's cured. Um, it's a little more chewy, but oh, this is great because it's not overly salty. I have a lot of products that I found on the market are like salt bombs. Great, so yeah, so you're thinking, you know, so it's like fingernail sized portions. There's a really nice um, light saltiness and a nice black pepper flavor to this as well, which is gonna go great with our pastas.